You know, it doesn't really surprise me at this point that Anita Sarkeesian would appear in BBC. I really am not that fucking shocked. Because apparently every news outlet, every area, there's not, you know, you know, have never really touched much on the internet, have actually explored the internet and actually looked at the videos that Anita Sarkeesian has put up and actually look at the responses that Anita Sarkeesian has, you know, has gotten, you would realize that by now Anita Sarkeesian is full of shit. Actually, no, she's not really full of shit. She's actually worse than a piece of sh it worse than a whole pile of shit. So I apologize to the pieces of shit lying down on a cement, just roasting there, waiting to be scooped up, put on back on the earth, because at least you're doing something productive. At least you're doing something good with your life. Anita Sarkeesian, there is no good in Anita Sarkeesian. She's just plain evil and stupid. And I'm not saying this because I hate her. I'm saying this because this woman is literally, she's literally the worst human being out there. Ugh. So I'm not gonna go into too much details because quite frankly, I already made enough videos on Anita Sarkeesian, and I'm pretty sure that WarCorp666 can agree with me. I mean, I know that WarCorp666 is going to enjoy, you know, making another video on Anita Sarkeesian. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy watching this video. But until that day comes, I'm going to have to make my video on how stupid this really is. Anita Sarkeesian launched a crowdfunding appeal to finance a short film she wanted to make, looking at how women are portrayed in video games. Welcome to our multi-part video series exploring the roles and representations of women in video games. In response, she was inundated with rape threats, sexualized and violent images, her website crashed, a computer game that invited you to hit her created. Now, I want to point out something. For the drawing, it's art, you know, so fucking what? And also, keep in mind that this is a game, a fucking game that we're allowed to, you know, punch Anita Sarkeesian in the face, which by the way, is completely not that uncommon to have for celebrities. If you become a celebrity, chances are you're going to see games like this one. But Anita Sarkeesian is the only person, and I repeat, the only person that would take serious offense to this. That's how pathetic Anita Sarkeesian is. I wanted to know whether Anita's experience could reveal something fundamental about the dynamics of online abuse. Well, so what was interesting is that, or also disturbing, is that they refer to this behavior as a game. Like, they even had theme music and little videos about it. Uh no, it's not a fucking video game for us. I mean, maybe for some, few, you know, a trolls, a few trolls on the internet, yeah, this is a totally a game for them. Like, oh, let's just feed Anita Sarkeesian. Oh, I just love on how stupid she is. <laughs> But this woman already knows she, that she was going to attract a lot of trolls. And then when she looked at any... I bet she hasn't even looked at one YouTube video that opposes Anita Sarkeesian. I, I mean, Anita... I mean, <laughs> Let me try it again. Let me refresh that, okay? Anita Sarkeesian is pretty much just looking at every YouTube video as the same as every other troll video you know just a total game for them they have no constructive criticism you know just words that just you know doesn't make any sense that's Anita Sarkeesian's logic that is why 
no one can take her seriously except for the f thousands of feminists who worship her like she's some sort of holy deity. Um, and I feel like while it is disturbing to think of the abuse and assault of a woman as a game, it does help us sort of understand how this kind of cyber mobs operate, right? They were showing off their abusive behavior to one another. And so you kind of have this like macho posturing happening uh, where they're earning the praise and approval of their peers. And this is not just anonymous either, right? You're, we're actually seeing the faces of, the, of some of the people. And Anita Sarkeesian has never bothered to look at any of these YouTube videos. Again, not once. Any video that's, that's supporting her, she'll gladly, you know, put it on the internet, put it on Twitter for people to see so that way people can suck on that guy's dick. But any video that constructively destroys her, her videos, that's a no. This is why Anita Sarkeesian should not be taken seriously. I mean, we, we should take her seriously, but not in the, w in the way where we have to, you know, look at her as, you know, some sort of role model. Anita Sarkeesian does not know how to handle criticism. On Facebook, you can see people's names and places of work. Like, this isn't just about anonymity. How would you characterize what has happened to you and what is still happening to you? Well, this is really misogyny on a grand scale, right? Like this is the, the hatred of women, uh, the exclusion of women, of maintaining this boys club. No, 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 no. People are not attacking you because you have a fucking vagina. People are attacking you because you have an, that you have an opinion that many, 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 many people pretty much hold dear and you pretty much fucking pissed them off for doing so and you knew again you knew that there was going to be trolls after you on the internet and you act so freaking surprised this is why people like movie bob are not on youtube defending you they're on vimo on their own websites so that way their own fans can go grab his dick and suck on it as hard as they could I guarantee you that if Anita Sarkeesian was a man, the outcome would still be the exact same thing. And a boys club means no girls allowed to keep us out and keep us not participating in these spaces and not having a voice in these spaces. And what the harassment does is it creates an environment that is too toxic and hostile for women to endure. And sometimes it works. And that's what's really sad about it. What's really sad is people like Movie Bob and Angry Joe idolizing Anita Sarkeesian because she's opposing the patriarchy. The, oh, the patriarchy. I mean, there are many, many women who could endure any amount of harassment because it's words. It's just freaking words on the internet. And I don't see celebrities crumbling down, you know, saying that they're being abused because there's a video game about them being beat up. I frankly, Anita Sarkeesian is becoming the bitch queen of bitchiness. I am the atheist gamer.